Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about LaMelo Ball. So just a few days ago, sources came out that University of Kansas basketball program denies that they had conversation with LaMelo, and they also denied that they're even planning on recruiting him to their school. This video, I just want to talk about Kansas exposing LaMelo Ball and just give you guys my opinion on this whole situation. So first, this is very interesting. I made a lot of videos about LaMelo Ball NCAA eligibility. Just my last video I did on LaMelo, I was talking about him having conversations with USC and Kansas. But out of nowhere, University of Kansas just put out a statement that they did not even talk to LaMelo and they also are not even planning on recruiting him to their school. So, you know, that's very interesting because on top of that, just last week on Ball in the Family, LaMelo even said himself that he had a conversation with USC and Kansas. So the question is, is LaMelo Ball lying or is University of Kansas lying? So when I just think about this whole situation, a couple things come to my mind. One thing is that LaMelo probably actually did talk to someone in the Kansas basketball program, such as a assistant coach or a trainer. You never know. It could be anybody. But basically, if LaMelo really did talk to someone at University of Kansas, then that means the person that he talked to didn't inform everybody else in the school well, the basketball program that he had talks with LaMelo Ball, and that's why we have this whole situation right now. Because now that LaMelo said that he had talks with Kansas, now Kansas is like, whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't have talks with you. I don't remember ever calling you or contacting you about recruiting you to our school. And also to remind you guys, when LaMelo said he had talks with Kansas, that was recorded back in November. So now that we're in February and people are now starting to hear this information, everybody is just like, oh, wow because it's shocking information and since kansas put out a statement then it seems like they just found this out too just like everybody else so that's really interesting to me another thing that comes to my mind is that kansas is trying to hide this whole situation in plain sight and what i mean by that is that kansas probably did have talks with Lamelo ball back in november and probably is actually still trying to recruit him to their school but they just don't want everybody to know right now such as the ncaa we all know how the NCAA is. Once they figure out you're breaking the rules to something, they're going to punish the whole school. Like the NCAA is really dirty when it comes to them giving these schools consequences. And also, if you guys do not know, the NCAA is really straight when it comes to recruiting high school kids to colleges. Like they really don't play when it comes to that. Such as coaches deciding to pay high schoolers to recruit to their school, or these schools having secret conversations with these kids and their family behind closed doors without the NCAA knowing about it. Like things can get really serious if the NCAA finds out that someone is breaking the rules so honestly you guys i don't blame kansas for putting out that statement just because they're not trying to get in trouble in my opinion i really feel like kansas definitely did have talks with Lamelo back in november or probably still right now you never know but it's just like why would Lamelo lie about something like that when he know he's being recorded and everybody's going to see it I really don't understand why he would lie about something like that. That's why I really feel like Kansas really did have talks with LaMelo, but they just not trying to tell everybody because they're not trying to get in trouble. Man, this whole situation is so funny to me. I bet when Kansas found out LaMelo said that, they probably called him and was like, look, since you said that, now we got to tell everybody that you're lying and we got to expose you just because we're not trying to get in trouble by the NCAA. So we're going to put out the statement saying that we never conversated with you and we have no interest in you. <laughs> I bet Kansas probably did do that. That would be hilarious if they actually did. But I want you guys to leave your comments below on how y'all feel about this whole situation. I thank you guys for watching. Be make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press the notification button to get game. We out.